Hello there, it's Brian here from Excel Dashboard Widgets.com um, again. Um, we got a message on the forum from, from Gavin Taylor, um, who's after a little bit of help with the uh, with the needle on the on the linear dial widget. Um, he's he's uploaded his um, his dashboard um, here, so let's just uh, let's just take a quick look. I'll just download it now, we'll open it up. Um, and uh, see what appears to be the problem. Well actually I've already taken a look and I know what the problem is but I'll um, hopefully get you on your way um, Gavin. So here we go. Um, let's continue. Right. Let's move this a little bit centrally. Um, okay so there's Gavin's linear dial. Um, he has a configuration page which is uh, this is configuration data here um, and he's copied across the the block, um, the the calculations block, which um, performs the, the the calculations required um, to calculate, for example, here the the scale interval, and over here the x and y coordinates that um, that basically um, draw the um, draw the needle. Um, so there's a couple of things that are that have gone gone astray on this this particular dashboard. For example, if I go to the configuration page, I'm just going to change the title, Gavin's uh, linear dial. For example, I'm going to change the scale to times ten um, dollars per month. The actual value, maybe we'll put that at six hundred, um, and the scale will go perhaps to um, seventy-five. Now, when we look at the um, at the at the dashboard, we can see okay the the um, the title has changed. The title is linked. Um, there's problems with the scale values; they're not linking. Um, the main value has updated, um, and the and the units have updated, um, and obviously the the needle is in the same position. So. Um, to quickly summarise, the problems appear to be with the needle and the the units on the scale. Um, so let's let's see where the, where they're coming from. Um, just very quickly to talk about these widgets, they're made up of um, a series of common Excel objects. If you go along, if you click Home um, and along the ribbon down to Find and Select, click down to the Selection pane. You can see the objects that are used to um, to make up this particular widget. For example, I can click the scale, um, and I can click the individual scale values. That's value one, value two, value three, value four, value five. You can see these are just um, these are just text boxes. Um, the colored panels. I can click colored panel one, colored colored panel two. Um, and basically, how this widget works is just. Um, it's just a group of objects that are, that are pasted on top of each other um, in the same order. If you come over here um, in this um, in this selection pane, items which are on the top um, higher up um, in this in this uh, in this selection pane appear towards you, and items near the bottom appear further away. Um, so if I just break up this widget, for example. Um, Let's group, ungroup, and let's just break it out into some of its common elements. You'll see, for example, that is the uh, that's the dial. Um, these are the, um, the 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 scale value, uh, the 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 coloured panels. Um, this is the little circle thing in the middle, and I think you get an idea of how these um, how these things are how these things are made up. So. Um, so, so there we go. I'll quickly undo those changes, um, and we'll go to the uh, the problems with this particular widget, um, and the fact that basically the needle isn't moving when you change the values, and the scale isn't updating. Now the problems I've already taken a look appear to be here, Gavin. You've pasted in the 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 calculations um, block, but. Um, when I'm taking a look here, what you've done is you've pasted them in as values, but you haven't pasted them in as um, as formulas. For example, if you look at the x and y values, they're static values that never update. 
based on the values of the of the main value of your of your particular widget. So what you need to do is this: you need to go back to the unlocked version of the um, of the of the Excel dashboard widget spreadsheet. You need to select the calculation block for the the linear dial, which is all of this stuff. And if you look at this stuff um, under scale values, there's actually there's actually little formulas here, because what they're doing, for example, these scale readings from 0 to 100, if I change the maximum here to, um, it's actually picking it up here from the configuration page, but if I change it from 0 to 1000, for example, it's calculating these intervals here and it's updating it automatically. The same for the needle. If I look at the actual value for the needle, in this case it's 55, the scale's going between 0 and 100 and it's 55. If I just put that as 70, for example, look at these XY values down here. They're being recalculated automatically. Um, this degrees value, it's calculating the, the, the number of degrees between 0 and 180. If I put 70, it's 126 degrees, um, where the angle of the, um, of the needle lies. If I put 10, for example, it, it's close to 18 degrees. If I put 0, it'll be 0 degrees. If I put 100, it'll move it right across to 180 degrees. All of these formulas, um, when you copy and paste the, com this, um, this calculation block across, um, all of these formulas need to be in, in place. And so basically, um, if you look at the steps, step 1, step 2, step 3 down here, all you need to do is to feed into these formulas these three values here, 0 for the min, minimum of the scale, 100 for the maximum, and whatever your actual value is you want the needle to show, and everything else will be automatically calculated based on those values. Um, and then you need to follow the second and third step to link up your widget <coughs> so, it <coughs> so it updates with those values. Um, so let's go, and, uh, let's go and do that now. Um, so so this is this is the block that you've copied without the formulas. I'm going to I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to recopy. I'm just going to Control C, um, copying this this little block, and then I'm going to put Control V into here. Now you'll see when you copy it in, it says ref 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 ref. Um, that's because it's not linked at the moment. So step one was grab that now. Step one here was link these yellow cells to your configuration data. Okay, so the minimum, I'm clicking on this first one, the minimum, I'm going to type here equals, I'm going to come across to my configuration and I'm going to put the minimum is zero, press enter. The maximum here equals, going to come across to your maximum value for your scale, which is 75, and then your actual value equals 600. I think I messed up your scales earlier. I think that was going, I was going to put that to 750. And now you'll see that, um, let's take a look. Your scale has automatically calculated itself um, from 0 to 750 with all the correct intervals. Your x and y have automatically updated themselves. Um, your your degrees have automatically updated themselves, so um, I'm just going to put your your main title here as well. Gamma's linear dial, and I'm actually going to put your um, your subtitle there. Now, everything on the configuration page is uh, is ready for linking across to your to your main uh, widget. Now, so let's do that exactly now. Um, so step two, uh, go to the selection pane um, and link all your individual widget components, which is basically the text boxes, um, to these blue cells. Um, okay, let's get up the selection pane. Um, let's do the, the main title, for example. I'm going to put here equals. I'm going to come across and do the main title. Let's do the the main value equals come across. Let's do the main value six hundred. 
Let's do the the scale values. So this is the first one, which is going to be zero. The second one, which is one fifty. The third one, to three hundred. The fourth one. 50, the fifth one, 600, the sixth one, just 750. Um, okay, let's do the, the bottom, if I can find it, um, the units, okay. Which is this one down there. Now, um, if I change the the scale now maybe to a thousand and the actual value to four hundred, um, you'll notice the the scale changes to four hundred and the the scale interval um, changes equally equally. It looks like you've already linked. If I click on the twice, if I click on the the needle, I can go here design select data for that needle and then I can go across here to edit and I can look at the values um, for the X and Y values here um, let's click the X values for example yes you've used the right X values so I can drop them back in let's click the Y values yes you're using the the correct Y values so now everything should be working um, as intended um, Again, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any other questions about how to set up these um, these these different widgets, or how to organise your data, or the different uh, indicators or metrics you need to be using for your particular dashboard, or any help we can be at all, please feel free to track us down um, via the forum. Um, okay, so this is Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets. Until next time.